Hello, hello. Welcome back to my channel. Good morning. As you can see from the title of this video, I am finally doing a week of workouts. I know that this has been a highly requested video and I totally get why. So I filmed a very, very, very realistic week of working out with me because you would think that it would be like, Monday I do at our arms, Tuesday I do full body, Wednesday I do lower, and that is always my goal. When I have a week where <laughs> I actually work out in my own home, when it is that structured, but a lot of the times, obviously with my work, I have events I teach at, or I'm filming, or I have collabs. There's just like a lot that goes into it, obviously because it is part of my job. So you guys will get a glimpse into that, but no matter what, I'm moving my body every day. It just looks different every day. So I still like plan it out in a schedule and write everything out that I'm doing for the week, but sometimes it can change, say that I get booked for something or yeah, it really just can vary. But you guys will see a very realistic, I already filmed the video and now realized I needed an intro, so here I am. But let me know if you guys like this kind of video. I'm gonna take you guys through every day of my workouts. Let's do it. All right, my loves, it is Monday, so I'm gonna show you guys my workout. I'll also show you my fits right now. I'm wearing this Nike pullover. I'm wearing this L Space set, super cute. It has like little buckles on it. It also comes in pants, but I have it in the shorts, the little biker shorts. And then I'm wearing my Nike Free Metcons with my Nike socks. I do not have a lot of time, so I'm gonna make this fast. I had a planned workout for tonight, which I do not work out in the evening. It is not my thing, it is not my vibe, but here I am doing it. And I also have to get it done in a certain amount of time because I have a nail appointment, but I had it, oh my gosh, my nails, I like you guys so bad. But I had to shoot something this morning, so it kind of was interfering with my workout time, so I did have to sacrifice. And so now I'm gonna do a workout. I'm gonna do a 20 minute upper body. So we're gonna get into that quickly. I'm gonna do it in my garage and tackle it away. Let's do it. I am going to get into this very quickly. I never work out in my garage. JT and I are actually redoing our garage setup. I do work out in here with JT sometimes or when the girls come over. But I am so weird and I like to work out in my house. I find it more comfortable. I also love to watch the workout on my TV and it's just a lot better. Unless I'm creating workouts and like doing something different, I'll come in here. Also, if I wanna do like a heavy day, like a strength day, I will also come in here because all the weights are in here. But if I'm like doing something where I don't need to do that, your girl loves to work out in the living room. But right now our teams are both here and I don't really feel like working out with everyone watching me. So I'm in the garage. And let's see, Sammy, you're really wasting time. 4.56 p.m., I gotta be out of here no later than 5.20, so. Let's pick this workout. Again, I'm doing upper body today. I usually have a schedule that you can go after, but today is booty, and tomorrow I'm actually teaching a live workout. That is booty for a brand, so I will be doing my booty work tomorrow. So I'm just gonna reverse it for me, but for anyone, there is a schedule on here. What arm, let's just search. Arm, upper body. Do I wanna add abs in? Do I want to? Okay, there's a 20 minute arms and abs. Ooh, should I do shoulders and back? That sounds nice. What do I want right now? I'm so indecisive. You guys, I'm being so annoying. Like, what do I want right now? I want... Ooh, 12 minute arms and abs. Maybe I'll just crank that. 20 minutes. Okay, I'm so annoying, aren't I? 15 minutes. Okay, I'm doing this one. 15 minutes. Here we go. I have to do it on my phone because I don't have hello, my computer. Hello. Welcome to your 15 minute arms workout. This is strictly the upper body we're gonna be working today. You will need zero equipment. Wherever you're at, you can do this anywhere. Um, just make sure you have a soft surface because we mm. are going to be Actually, I kinda feet. want equipment. I kinda want equipment. I'm doing this 12 minute one. I want equipment. You I could want. use water bottles. You could use a book, really anything. Forever. 
Just got done. I did a little over 12 minutes. Feeling good. It just like feels like a nice little pump. Again, I would have loved to honestly do a longer workout, but something is better than nothing. And I actually hope this week of workouts show you so you guys the reality of my week and why I create shorter workouts because I understand some days this is what happens. Again, I had in my schedule to do a longer workout. It just didn't work out that day way because of just the day. It got the best of me. So at least I did something. I feel good about that. And then tomorrow I wake up and have a really incredible workout and it's in the morning. So hallelujah. Again, this is not my vibe. I'm going to make a protein smoothie and then head to the nail salon. I'll just take that with me and I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. I don't know about my hair, but I'm feeling good. Also too, you know how I always like say set a vibe? I think in some way, if you could set a vibe in your, if it is in your home or in your yard, like whatever it is, if it's like having your favorite yoga mat, your favorite water bottle, like even if you have like a corner, almost like even people have like meditation corners, but it's just like a pillow in Palo Santo. Like if you could find something that creates that feeling, it's like your weights, your blah, blah, blah is in that corner. It also has that like feel good feeling of like, helps you get into the groove. All right, I'll see you guys tomorrow for tomorrow's workout. Happy Tuesday. I painted my nails red and I slightly feel like I'm regretting it. I thought Valentine's Day would be like cute to have red nails, which actually I do think are a vibe, but I think they need to be longer. I don't know if I like them short, but they're, I think they also are really pretty. And this is my first time having painted nails with my ring. Usually I just have very natural and clear. But anyway, I'm about to go in to my workout. I actually did a live workout this morning for a brand. So I did a 25 minute booty and abs and I will pop it up here. I actually forgot to film it for you guys. I'm sorry. I just got in the zone this morning. So now I'm in my garage and I think I'm just gonna finish it. I feel like I could use a little bit more than what I did in there because usually when a brand hires me, I will understand that maybe their community doesn't work out all the time or they're just beginning to work out. So I try not to add too much equipment, also being convenient to everyone on different brands pages just because it's not my always my community, you know? So I felt like I had a good workout. I got a good little pump going on, but I do think I want a little bit more. So I'm just going to do 20 minute booty to like finish it off. But like, I kind of want like a strength one, like have some weights or my bench, something like that. So I did just add a five minute category, which a lot of you guys are loving. That is a great moment for, you only have five minutes, you need a little break, you wanna just do like a five minute pick me up, or you could also take each workout and create your own workout, cause I did like five minutes of every body part. So I'm glad everyone, or there's like a lot of you guys liking that. Okay, so I think I'm just gonna do this 10 minute booty burner. I don't know if you can see that. And there's a resistance band, a chair, and then I'll probably add dumbbells where I can. That is the really nice thing. You can really curate the workout to what feels good for you. Okay, so I'm gonna do this. Just a little finisher, again, because that was a little light. This is like the part of my job that, you know, obviously I started working out because, or not started working out, but I started sharing because I loved it so much. But now part of my job is, you know, I work out with the people that I train. So for instance, whenever I post these videos, I'm working out. Whenever I do it for a brand, I'm working out through it. So those are my workouts. So sometimes it is tough because I feel like I do love just being in the zone and like having my workout schedule, but I also do love sharing my workouts and teaching. This week for some reason, there is some brand stuff going on. And that's just sometimes heavier than others. So you guys can kind of get like a view of that, of how I work with brands working out and then plus my own workout schedule. So let's do this 10 minutes. I'm gonna crush it. Goodness, stop. I'm trying to vlog. Okay, Sammy, get your booty up. Oh, also too, I'm wearing for the brand, it's for Frankie's bikinis. They just came out with apparel. I wanted to wear their blue set that I got from them and I was wearing the like little t-shirt, which was so cute, but 
tell me if you feel me on this i just tanned just tanned so sometimes when i work out on a light color which me putting on a white top but i think i did it already it will show through so i will say that is a huge tip is wear darker colors the day after working out with your tanner sometimes it happens to me and sometimes it doesn't so it's pretty random but this time it did so i changed my top because i looked crazy okay here we go These teams on the phone, I can hear them. So I'm gonna make myself a smoothie. That felt so good to just finish it off with, I'm going down to my knees. <laughs> that felt so good to just finish off the workout and feel like, okay, I got a little more than the 25 minutes. So that felt amazing. A nice like 35 minute workout. Now I'm gonna make a smoothie and get my day going and I will see you guys tomorrow. Happy Wednesday, good morning. Oh, it's, it's Wednesday, right? I literally almost thought it was Thursday, but it is Wednesday. You guys, I am doing a full body workout this morning. And first off, good morning. Secondly, I'm doing a full body workout this morning. I am doing it with one of our giveaway winners for form. We did a giveaway to someone who did the entire January challenge um, and you entered to win and we have a winner. So I'm gonna be training my girl this morning and just like hang out and chat if she wants to chat about anything. So it'll be super fun. We're doing it over Zoom. So I'm super excited to do that, but that will be my workout this morning because that is my workout this morning. So I'm gonna really push and do it with her. It's gonna be a full body plus abs. So I'm gonna do that. And again, guys, my weeks look so different every week. So that's why I like these videos actually super fun. So you guys can see my goal is to always work out five times a week. And some weeks it looks like me in my gym and like on the same time and can crush in the morning. And then sometimes it looks like this week where I've had just different things going on, but it is my workout. So that is what I'm doing today. But this one will be with equipment. I have some 10 pounds, five pounds, and I think that's all I'm gonna use. I'm gonna go finish writing it, but I think that'll be it just in case I don't know what she has. And we're gonna get into it. But before we do, I wanted to also, I'm taking my seed this morning and I had a text from my girlfriend literally last night and she said this. I think I remember you posting something about the probiotic, prebiotic seed. Just wondering your thoughts on it or if you have another one you would recommend. And I literally responded, I am obsessed with seed. <laughs> And then I just went into the details of why I am obsessed with seed. And then I also looked back to see that I've actually been taking seed, my symbiotic, since September. So what is that, like over September, October, November, December, January? Five months. I've been taking seed for five months, which is really cool. And um, I guess now going into February, it'll go into my sixth month. And something really cool about even seeing your blood work, I would recommend anyone getting blood work, but if you watched my last vlog, I actually got a full gut test and blood work done, and this is always good for me to just make sure I'm taking the right supplements in my life and making sure I'm not depleted in any areas or need to remove things in different areas. I learned that a lot with my skin. I was pretty much taking things that I did not need to take or actually weren't helping me because I only should be taking those certain items while I'm on my period or not on my period. I'm learning so much and I know it can be super overwhelming. That's why I do think it's important to discuss with your doctor. But I do think if anyone's like, where do I begin? How do I protect my gut? How do I focus on so many things like immune health, gut health, skin health, digestive health, going to the bathroom, bloating? This is 
such a winner. Seed I'm a huge supporter of because it does make it all the way to your colon, so that is super huge. Some, literally, when you take some pills, they actually don't make it all the way to your colon, so that means that they're not even doing the magic they need to be doing. But again, a symbiotic really just supports all around wellness is how I would explain it. But really, it goes into the things I just listed of just supporting all different types of health with your body. And I'm on five months and I don't see myself turning back. And I just want to continue to share it because taking the right pills or supplements or symbiotics on a daily basis will be a game changer for you at least it was for me to actually see my body feeling super supported i know even for my immune system i grew up getting sick so often i also think it might have been some foods i was eating who knows but i feel like my immune system is a rock star now and i think <laughs> i just had a flashback i just had a flashback that when i traveled with Alyssa, we went to Santa Barbara one time and she cracked me up because she forgot her makeup, she forgot her skincare, but the girl brought all of her supplements, like literally had a full case of them and I was like, that is health. Like you were like, I forgot everything else but my supplements, but I do feel the same way. Like once you find something that actually really benefits you and you can see a difference, try it out for 30 days and I'm telling you that's what I recommend to anyone. You try it out, see how it feels for you, see if it helps with any areas, and just like overall see how you feel, like keep track. I keep a little diary when I add something new into my routine to see how I feel, if I have any new breakouts, my gut is uncomfortable, just like really watching yourself and just diary it out, but I really cannot say enough. So if you have been thinking of trying it, I do have a code, I'll pop it up on the screen. And that's all I gotta say, guys. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> Okay, just so you guys can see my fit, I'm actually wearing a set from Gymshark, but it is my girlfriend's collab with them. It's KK Fit, so super cute. And then I'm obviously wearing my Nike Free Metcons because I don't know how to wear anything else. They're my favorite shoes to work out in. But yeah, this set is super comfortable. I absolutely love Gymshark, and I think they crushed it. These shorts are a little bit shorter, which I don't usually go this short, but these ones don't right up as much so that's really nice and they're very cute i'm not really asking we'll get away to a place where we don't know about to see the world in action what we can be live with no distractions we'll get away this is what we waited for This morning vibrant happy Thursday you guys we've just been spending all week together I am waiting for the girls to come over it's about 738 they should be here at 745 we're gonna get a little workout in today again the schedule is just all always just a whirlwind but this morning I actually get to do like work out with everyone and do it in that way but it's nice because us girls who live on the west side do try and get in a workout together once a week is the goal but that doesn't always happen with everyone's schedules so this week we're doing it so i have a couple of the girls coming over which will be nice gonna do a workout i think i feel like we hmm, i gotta ask and get like a group vote of what everyone wants to do today I truly like just like to feel it out. And as far as this workout as well, I will actually do it a little bit differently just to make it a little more fun because it's like a group workout and I'm not trying to like actually stand there and teach it. It's more of like I write it out and then we all work out together. But I like to use more of like the gym setup for a workout like this, more of like a circuit that everyone's at a station and kind of moves in that format just because I think it's more fun and it's easier with a larger group. So we'll see what they wanna do and then I'll write it out real quick and then we'll go into the garage and get it going. 
I do also like us to work out in the like dark with a little bit of light so the lighting might be a little rough but we're just trying to vibe it out we also have heaters on in there like we like it to be a little toasty because it's kind of chilly hence the the nice puffer so it's like a little vibe out but it's super fun we only do 30 minutes so we'll do 30 minutes and then sometimes we'll add on the abs but we all like to keep it like super short and sweet super efficient we like everyone comes over literally at 7 45 so we can like mingle and like say hi to each other and have a cup of coffee but then we'll go into the workout and like actually crush and everyone then like leaves and gets on with their day so if you can in any way like create this space where you and your friends or you and your family i mean i remember again in quarantine me and my mom we would like hold each other accountable this is a great way to do that by like meeting up or even doing a zoom workout like whatever it is if it's like once a week i think it just creates this type of energy and also allows you guys to bond and hang out and see each other but in a way where you're also moving your body so you feel like Okay, I didn't just go like hang out with that friend. I actually did a workout with him that was so nice to catch up and bond with each other in that way and hold each other accountable. So that is my little spiel on that. All right, so again, I'm just gonna wait for the girls to show up and then you guys will see that we'll get into the workout. Let me show you my fit real quick. This is from ASOS actually, this cute little puffer. And then this set is from Aritzia, TNA is the brand. And then my shoes are Nike Free Metcons. And then my socks are, you can come, <laughs> my socks are actually from Liz, who's walking in right now, and they say badass on them. So they're like my really badass socks. Yeah, you are. <laughs> my gosh it is i have to show you guys i just turned the heater on it is 63 in our house right now it is so cold our ac like in heat situation we've been trying to figure it out we had someone come last week because it hasn't been working properly. Like when we turn one of the systems on, it will actually affect the other ones and it just like totally rocks the whole house. So some part of the house is like super hot and some part of the house is so cold. So we've been like leaving them off, but our space gets freezing. I mean, I don't know about you guys, 63 is so cold for me. So, oh my gosh, this is when it gets tough to work out, I mean happy friday but holy crap you can do this sam i'm like shivering i'm such a wimp oh all right we're gonna do it we're gonna do it you got this i'm acting like it's something crazy but it's still i'm freezing okay let me set you guys up here good morning oh i'm <laughs> down here you know, one day I'll get this. You think for doing YouTube for at least, have I been doing YouTube for maybe two years now? You, you'd think I get it. Good morning. I am going to do a little bit of, I think I'm gonna do a 20 minute abs with like a stretch because I actually went and got a little bit of lasering and stuff done on my face. I don't know if you guys can see it. I do have a tinted moisturizer on. Ugh, I'm like this far away, but it's like, you can see like I have kind of little scabs. So she was like, I'd love if you wouldn't sweat for like 24 hours. And I was like, totally. I actually love when I go see, especially when I was really struggling with my skin, they always wanted me to do a peel. And I don't know about you guys, I did one peel in my life and it was an actual nightmare. I scarred from it. She actually scarred me up here. Again, it, I think it matters who you go to, but I did do a peel and it was a nightmare. She said it was only gonna last maybe five to seven days. Mine literally didn't come off for two weeks. I looked insane and obviously with my career, I was like, I cannot be out of the game this long. I couldn't film anything for brands. I also couldn't work out, right? Cause you can't sweat it off. 
I was like, so every time a facialist always is like, let's do a peel on you. I'm like, no. And then they always go, can you take time off of, you know, working out? And I'm like, I totally can, but it's just funny because when it is like my livelihood, it's just a funny conversation. And also even being on camera, it's like, I wish that I could be like, okay, yeah, let me just do a peel for a week. But it just, I don't think I could. Maybe I could, but I would have to like really take time off of work. That was just a complete side note with what I'm doing right now. So I always get really nervous when I do any like laser treatments or microneedling. I've done microneedling three times and I would highly recommend do not do microneedling until your skin is fully clear because I would do it when I saw like, oh, my skin is slightly doing better. But it when it comes back, I just felt like I had new scars come about. So. I definitely learned my lesson there. This treatment was like super simple. I think I showed it in a last vlog. It's like a zapper situation. So it's just it's super chill and actually helps with active acne. So you can do it with like if you have breakouts now. I gotta remember the treatment name so I can write it in the description. But anyway, she did let me know like try not to sweat for 24 hours. So usually I would say I would go after maybe like a 30 minute full body today and like really crush it. But I'm listening so I think I'm just gonna do honestly my hips are super tight anytime you guys feel there's a difference from like soreness or like actually your muscles are like hey I really need some support of a stretch or rolling out really do listen because that is how injuries do happen is when you ignore your body trying to tell you like hey I need you to stretch a little bit longer today and let me be the first one to say even as a trainer I hate stretching I don't like it. I think it takes too much time. Like I get over it, but it really is so important. I've been injured before because I didn't stretch. So I do think it's super important. Even if you set a timer for three minutes or follow one of my warm ups, I make them short but effective, but it's just protecting your body. Like it really, really, really is because we don't want injuries over here. So. I actually do feel like my hips are insanely tight. I actually hold a lot of stress in my hips, which is very common too, or maybe sometimes a lot of people hold stress in their back, which also connects to their hips. So hip openers and just like stretching out the hips always feels really good. So I think I'm gonna do the 20 minute abs and stretch, and I'm just gonna do it in my house, in my freezing house, because I don't even want to know how cold the garage is, because if it's cold in here, it's an iceberg out in there, and JT's in there working out anyway. So I'm just gonna turn it on my, TV which if you guys did not know you can actually use the form app on your television if you have Roku or Apple TV I find that super convenient so I'm just gonna do it in here 20 minutes like I said and then we'll get the Friday going hopefully I can take my jacket off my loves that was the end of my friday movement which i do have to say during it i could see my mind being like okay let's move on like it was trying to rest the rush the stretching process but then when i like pushed through that mindset and actually like did it when i was in it i was like this feels so good 
so needed. It's almost like your body, again, is just saying like, thank you. So push through that voice in that head in the beginning. The beginning's always the hardest part, but once you're like in it, you're just like, okay, might as well keep going and like, this does feel really good. So that little stretch felt really nice. So I did stretch and core sculpt and then I also added on the eight minute stretch and abs, which is one of my favorites to do when you want a stretch and abs. So then it's 15 minutes plus eight. So I did like a total of like 24 minutes perfect felt really good i didn't like break out in a sweat you know so yeah i think that felt really nice i would encourage anyone to try and add stretching into their routine even if it's five minutes three minutes it is better than nothing and push through i also should talk about my set before i peace out but i have no shoes on today so this is from viori i think that's how you say it it is buttery soft you guys i have a small top extra small bottom super cute i love those like tie waistline those are always really nice so i really like this set it does have the padding in it and i don't know about you guys some of the brands i remove the padding and some of them i keep them in but sometimes i don't like it to look so like out here i totally get if you do have like big boobs and you're like okay i need that that's why you know apparel i think you have to find what works for you like anything i mean can we be real but because you know, mine can go with or without. So I might remove these pads, but I don't know. This one's a little messed up. So that's another reason why I don't love it when you put it in the wash. All right, you guys. Well, that is the end of this week of workouts. I would usually show Saturday, Sunday, but JT and I are actually going out of town this weekend for a little staycation. We're going to Ojai and Santa Barbara and we're actually taking a van. So we're literally taking like a camper van. It's our first time doing it together. And we have just this overall goal this year to take one staycation a month, even if it is like right now we're doing a van experience or if it's to go stay at our family's house, it's just leaving our, ho our home and creating an experience once a month because that was something, you know, when it was taken away from us with this whole like quarantine and, co and I always don't know if I can say the word. I think I can on here, right? The COVID life. I feel like I just appreciated experiences so much more and I just have so much fun with JT doing them. I also grow a lot with myself when I do them. So we've been having a lot of fun. So this month is the van experience. So you guys will have to stay posted for that. But this weekend, what my movement will be, Saturday, I know that we're either gonna do a hike or we're also gonna go take a workout class because we'll be in Santa Barbara, so we'll be actually in a town. So that is our goal. And then Sunday, probably just like walk. So it's kind of up in the air, but I love taking weekends to experience a different type of workout, like hiking, like bike riding, like going to try a workout class. That is something I try and do on the weekend but this was a very realistic, very realistic week in my life where I'm just going with the week. I have my plans, but sometimes things change like, you know, on Friday doing this workout instead of maybe the full body that I had in store and you just flow with it. But me showing up for myself every day is what is most important. And I hope that's what inspires you guys. Some movement is better than nothing at all. It doesn't matter how long you go. It matters how you move, not how long you move. So I think that's super important to keep that mindset. You can really get a lot done in an efficient amount of time. It just matters how you're moving rather than okay, I have to do an hour or two hours. Again, it matters your goals. But this was a realistic day of working out with myself. And let me know if you guys liked this kind of video, what you wanna see more of as always. And I am going to be starting you know, some wedding planning. I am. So let me know if that is also something you guys would want to see. Kind of maybe like a wedding series is what I'm thinking, just because obviously that'll be a huge part of my life coming up. So crazy. All right, you guys, make sure you like and subscribe. As always, it helps my channel and I love to see what you guys are looking for. I will see you in the next video.